What is McKinsey and Company? American Opioid Crisis $573 million Settlement Hydrocodone From 1999 to 2016 it is estimated 453,300 Americans have died from opioids. McKinsey and Company the worldwide management consulting firm has agreed to pay $573 million to settle investigations into its role in the American opioid crisis. The opioid crisis likely began with overprescription of opioids in the 1990s, which led to them becoming the most prescribed class of medications in the United States. Opioids initiated for post surgery or pain management are one of the leading causes of opioid misuse where approximately 6% of people continue opioid use after trauma or surgery. Hydrocodone, sold under the brand name Zohydro ER, is an opioid used to treat severe pain of a prolonged duration, if other measures are not sufficient. It is also used as a cough suppressant in adults. It is taken by mouth. What is McKinsey and Company? McKinsey and Company is an American worldwide management consulting firm. Founded in 1926 by University of Chicago professor James O. McKinsey, that advises on strategic management to corporations, governments, and other organizations. Under the leadership of Marvin Bauer, McKinsey expanded into Europe during the 1940s and 1950s. In the 1960s, McKinsey's Fred Gluck, along with Boston Consulting Group's Bruce Henderson, Bill Bain at Bain and Company, and Harvard Business School's Michael Porter, transformed corporate culture. A 1975 publication by McKinsey's John L. Newman introduced a scheme of overhead value analysis that contributed to a downsizing trend that eliminated many jobs in middle management. McKinsey publishes a business magazine, the McKinsey Quarterly, and its consultants have authored many books. Its alumni have held high-level corporate and political positions. The firm has been associated with a number of notable scandals, including the collapse of Enron in 2001 and the 2007 to 2008 financial crisis. It has also drawn controversy for involvement with Purdue Pharma, U.S. immigration, and customs enforcement and authoritarian regimes. Notable former employees include Jeffrey Skilling, Kiriaka Smitsotakis, Susan Rice, Pete Buttigieg, and Wok Hoekstra. McKinsey and Company was founded in Chicago under the name James O. McKinsey and Company in 1926 by James O. McKinsey, a professor of accounting at the University of Chicago. He conceived the idea after witnessing inefficiencies in military suppliers while working for the U.S. Army Ordnance Department. For the firm called itself an accounting and management firm and started out giving advice on using accounting principles as a management tool. Three McKinsey's first partners were Tom Kearney, hired in 1929, and Marvin Bauer, hired in 1933. 133. Rajat Gupta and another McKinsey executive, Anil Kumar, were among those convicted in a government investigation into insider trading for sharing inside information with Galleon Group hedge fund owner Raj Rajaratnam. What is up or out policy? Marvin Bauer is credited with establishing McKinsey's values and principles in 1937, based on his experience as a lawyer. The firm developed an up-or-out policy, where consultants who are not promoted are asked to leave. In 1937, Bauer established a set of rules that consultants should put the interests of clients before McKinsey's revenues, not discuss client affairs, tell the truth even if it means challenging the client's opinion, and only perform work that is both necessary and that McKinsey can do well. Bauer created the firm's principle of only working with CEOs, which was later expanded to CEOs of subsidiaries and divisions. He also created McKinsey's principle of only working with clients the firm felt would follow its advice. Bauer also established the firm's language. What is American Opioid Crisis? An opioid epidemic is the overuse or misuse of addictive opioid drugs with significant medical, social, and economic consequences, including overdose deaths. The opioid crisis likely began with overprescription of opioids in the 1990s, which led to them becoming the most prescribed class of medications in the United States. 
Opioids initiated for post-surgery or pain management are one of the leading causes of opioid misuse, where approximately 6% of people continued opioid use after trauma or surgery. In the late 1990s, around 100 million people or a third of the U.S. population were estimated to be affected by chronic pain. This led to a push by drug companies and the federal government to expand the use of painkilling opioids. The epidemic has been described as a uniquely American problem. The structure of the U.S. healthcare system, in which people not qualifying for government programs are required to obtain private insurance, favors prescribing drugs over more expensive therapies. According to Professor Judith Feinberg, most insurance, especially for poor people, won't pay for anything but a pill. Prescription rates for opioids in the U.S. are 40% higher than the rate in other developed countries such as Germany or Canada. People that are addicted to opioids can have many changes in behavior. Some of the common signs or symptoms of addiction include spending more time alone, losing interest in activities, quickly changing moods, sleeping at odd hours, getting in trouble with the law, and financial hardships. Hashtags, McKinsey, Opioid, Hydrocodone What is McKinsey and Company? American Opioid Crisis $573 million settlement Hydrocodone?